when objects derive from a common base class. We say that as a relationship exists between derived classes and the base class. For example, dog is a mammal. Cat is a mammal. Another example of as a relationship can be circle is a shape. Rectangle also is a shape. The star is also a shape. These very simple definitions of relationships play the crucial role in object communication. Although shape cannot be instantiated, because it is abstract class of objects, shape can represent public interface of operations common to all classes that derive from the shape. For example, every class in the shape hierarchy will have a public method named getArea actual computation of the area of circle differs from the area of a rectangle object. At the same time, method signature to compute the area remains the same for all shapes. The getArea method has no input parameters and returns a double number as a result of computation. It makes sense to declare getArea method at the shape class level. Because shape class is abstract, if cannot provide a definition for the get area method. That's why keyword abstract is used here and no method body is provided. Instead, a single semicolon replaces the body of the method. An abstract method in Java class remains stated without reference to a specific instance. Technically speaking, when operation in class interface exists only in theory, it is abstract. But as soon as we have a potential for a particular instance of an object, the method becomes a concrete method. Let's now discuss what happens at runtime. First, the main driver program is invoked. It creates two objects, a circle and a rectangle, which will be used to compute the area of both objects. Because both objects derive from the shape class, it is possible to write the static method inside the main driver program, which takes a shape as a parameter. This makes sense, because main driver program wants to operate at the highest level whenever possible, without getting to specific details of particular objects. This time, inside the static method get area, Java compiler has no knowledge about what kind of shape it is. At runtime, when object's method is invoked, the call will be dispatched to the method of the concrete object that was passed as a parameter. At runtime, when objects begin to interact, the call will be dispatched to the method of the concrete object that was passed here as a parameter. In one case, circle area is calculated. In another, rectangle area is calculated. Get area calculation demonstrates polymorphic operation. Polymorphism simplifies communication between objects, because objects have uniform interface within their hierarchy. Polymorphism is very important to the designer of the application. Object-oriented programming languages have built-in support for polymorphic operations within class hierarchies. If a relationship becomes foundation for polymorphism. For example, the cat can move, the dog can move, and a mammal can move, also. But in each case the move is very different. Dog moves are specific, as well as cat's moves. In case of a mammal move, however, it is not so well defined, but still a valid part of the mammal's public interface. Using object-oriented terminology, when it is applied to the entire hierarchy of mammals, the move operation becomes known as polymorphic operation. Top-level class of the class hierarchy defines most common interface of all derived objects. Purpose of the public interface is to specify all available methods. Private attributes and methods are not part of the class interface. Both attributes and methods can be private or public members of the class of objects. Inheritance allows the derived class to inherit attributes and methods from another class. Inheritance relationship is always his A relationship. 
Another benefit of inheritance is reuse of existing code. Composition means that an object is built from other objects. Composition relationship is then A has type of relationship.